Have you ever wondered how much your health could cost you? Not in terms of money, but in terms of life's most treasured moments? Today, let's examine how poor health can impact an essential part of life. Relationships. The ramifications of deteriorating health extend beyond our physical bodies, profoundly affecting those who surround us. Your suffering isn't isolated, it's a burden borne by everyone near and dear to you. Visualize the ones who care about you full of worry over your well-being. The fear and emotional toll are hard to carry. It's like witnessing someone you love trapped in a storm, while all you can do is stand powerless on the sidelines. This worry is an unseen thread that tugs at the fabric of your relationships. Friendships, too, are susceptible to the effects of poor health. The ties forged from shared experiences start to fray under the weight of unfulfilled plans. The joy of impromptu gatherings, the exhilaration of joint escapades, the solace of long late-night chats, all these become victims to declining health. The lively hues of friendship dull, replaced by the drab tones of anxiety. What about potential romantic partners? They might hesitate, not out of a lack of care, but due to the daunting idea of being a caregiver first and a partner second. The fear, the uncertainty, it's enough to make the strongest hearts waver. These precious bonds, the connections that enrich our lives, become strained. The laughter becomes rarer and the moments less memorable. All this because health wasn't a priority. The cost of poor health is not just a personal burden, it's a pain that affects our relationships. It's a steep price to pay, not measurable in monetary terms, so I pose the question again. Have you ever wondered how much your health could cost you, not in terms of money, but in terms of life's most treasured moments? The cost of bad health is not limited to the physical body. It extends to our mind and spirit. This is an uncomfortable truth we often try to ignore, but it's a reality we cannot escape. Chronic illnesses, for instance, do not simply manifest as physical discomfort or pain. They seep into our mental and emotional well-being, creating a whirlwind of psychological turmoil. Just imagine, every day is a battleground. You fight against your own body, against an invisible enemy that threatens to steal your peace of mind. Over time, this constant battle can lead to depressive episodes. You may find yourself sinking into a pit of despair, feeling helpless and hopeless. The world may seem grey, and joy may feel just out of reach. Anxiety, too, is a frequent visitor. The uncertainty of your health condition, the unpredictability of symptoms, the fear of a painful episode, they all contribute to a state of constant worry and stress. You may find yourself living in anticipation of the next flare-up, trapped in a cycle of what-ifs and worst-case scenarios. Then comes the isolation. As your health deteriorates, so does your social life. You may start to withdraw from friends and family, feeling like a burden. Your world may begin to shrink, confined to the four walls of your home or the sterile environment of a hospital room. This isolation can be incredibly suffocating, amplifying feelings of loneliness and despair. But here's the kicker. This mental and emotional strain can be even more debilitating than the physical symptoms. It's like a weight pressing down on your chest, making it harder to breathe, harder to function, harder to live. And the worst part is, this mental anguish is often invisible to those around you. It's a silent struggle, a hidden cost of poor health. So, let's not underestimate the toll that bad health can take on our mental well-being. The emotional and mental toll of poor health is a cost that's often overlooked, but it's one of the highest prices we pay. As we navigate the journey of life, let's remember to prioritize our health, not just for our bodies, but for our minds and spirits too. Because at the end of the day, our mental health is just as important, if not more so, than our physical health. Imagine the opportunities missed due to poor health, the job not taken, the adventure trip canceled, the simple joy of a long walk passed up. Picture this. You've been offered a brilliant job opportunity, a dream position that you've worked tirelessly for. But alas, it's physically demanding. Your health, unfortunately, doesn't allow you to seize this opportunity. The daily grind, the hustle, the chase of aspirations, all hampered by the chains of ill health. Consider the thrill of an adventure trip, the anticipation of scaling new heights, diving deep into the blue, or perhaps just the exhilaration of being out there in the wild. The adrenaline, 
the joy, the memories that could have been all reduced to mere daydreams because your health holds you back. The world is a vast, beautiful playground, but what good is it if we're benched, sidelined by our own physical limitations? And then there are the simpler pleasures of life that we often take for granted. The spontaneous decision to take a long, leisurely walk on a beautiful day, to feel the wind in your hair, the sun on your face and the earth under your feet. Such a simple joy, yet a luxury for those battling poor health. We often measure life's worth by the grandeur of our achievements, the size of our bank accounts or the number of our social media followers. But isn't life also about these simple pleasures? The ability to enjoy a hearty laugh without it turning into a coughing fit. The freedom to walk without having to catch our breath every few steps. The choice to live each day on our own terms without health-related constraints. So, let's not underestimate the cost of poor health. It's not just about medical bills or the physical discomfort. It's about the missed opportunities, the lost potential, the experiences that remain just out of reach. The daily hustle is hampered, dreams are deferred, and life's potential remains unfulfilled when we don't prioritize our health. We owe it to ourselves to live the best life we can, and that begins with good health. The financial burden of poor health is apparent, but what about the cost to our self-worth and confidence? You see, the repercussions of neglecting our health are not just physical, but they seep into our wallets and our psyche as well. When we talk about the financial implications of poor health, the first thing that comes to mind is often medical bills. And indeed, they can mount up quickly. Every doctor's visit, every prescription filled, every therapy session attended, it all contributes to an ever-growing pile of expenses. This is money that could have been spent on enriching experiences or saved for a secure future. But instead, it goes into reclaiming a life that's slipping away. But the cost doesn't stop there. Consider the lost savings, the missed opportunities for investment, the promotions or job opportunities passed up because of health constraints. Money that could have been put towards your dreams, your aspirations is instead funneled into maintaining a semblance of normalcy. And then there's the toll it takes on our self-worth and confidence. When our health deteriorates, it's not uncommon for our perception of ourselves to follow suit. We may begin to question our worthiness, our attractiveness, our place in the world. We may feel less capable, less valuable, less enough. This self-doubt can be a significant roadblock to personal growth, and it can rob us of our happiness and peace of mind. Poor health can also lead to feelings of isolation and loneliness, we may distance ourselves from others out of embarrassment or fear of burdening them. We may avoid social situations where we feel our health would be a hindrance, further eroding our confidence and sense of self-worth. In essence, the financial strain of poor health is immense, but the damage to our self-worth can be even more devastating. The cost is not just monetary, it's emotional, psychological and deeply personal. Yet remember, it's never too late to prioritize your health and reclaim the vibrant, fulfilling life you deserve. So, can you truly afford not to be healthy? Ponder on this question as we summarize what we've discussed so far. The burden of poor health stretches far beyond the individual. It strains relationships, weighs heavily on our mental and emotional well-being, hampers our day-to-day -day hustle and creates a financial burden that's hard to bear. On top of it all, it chips away at our self-worth and confidence. But let's not forget the silver lining, the beacon of hope that glimmers brightly, reminding us that it's never too late to make a change. And making that change, prioritizing our health, doesn't have to be a Herculean task. You can start small. You don't need to run a marathon tomorrow. A brisk walk today, a few minutes of stretching the next day, maybe a jog the week after. Baby steps are still steps forward. Then there's mindful eating. It's not about severe dieting. It's about balanced eating. Fresh fruits, green vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains. These are your allies. Listen to your body and feed it nourishing foods. Remember, mental health matters. It's not emphasized enough, but your mental resilience is as crucial as your physical strength. Talk, share, seek therapy if needed, and don't forget the mantra of consistency over intensity. A 10-minute daily workout is better than an intense hour once a month. 
The key is regularity, not intensity. Finally, educate yourself, know your body, understand its needs, read, consult, learn. When you know better, you do better. So, as we wrap up, let's revisit our initial question. The question isn't, can you afford not to be healthy? It's, can you afford to miss out on life? It's never too late to make a change, to prioritize your health and reclaim your life. Remember, the vibrancy of your existence, the richness of your relationships and the vastness of your potential are all tied to one core aspect, your health. Cherish it, nurture it and watch life unfold in its most beautiful form. The ball is in your court. Take the shot.